We are live here at the studio by Feast It Forward in downtown Napa Valley on a beautiful Saturday, and I'm very excited about this show today with Chef Asif visiting. Thank you for being here. We co we coordinated the, the <laughs> pants to my my lips, which which typically I just wear a gloss, but I'm like, we planned this. So Revlon, we need to start a new Chef Asif. Uh, Beautiful red lipstick to match your coordination. Absolutely. So, cheers. We did, you know, you're drinking water. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that, but I still have to do the, the cheers. 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 So this show is cooking culture. I'm very excited about that because my influence of cooking, I love all types of cuisine, and Indian food is one of my favorites, and I'm sure this dish will be my favorite because he kind of beat this guy that many of you may not have heard of called Bobby Flay, and he's on some network that starts with food and you know he'll give you the recipe bobby someday i mean you know maybe you'll give it to me by the end of this show but we're going to learn about an incredible tandoori chicken that you just kicked his ass right absolutely <laughs> <laughs> i love it and i want to learn all about it so yep how did, how did you start like what's the story you're you're from florida you hail full not from florida but your restaurants in florida yes my restaurant is from florida um i'm in naples florida and uh the, it's just a long journey, you know, but uh, I've uh, lived there for 20 years uh, in that area. And uh, my restaurant is like a dream come true for me, which I worked very hard to start, you know, uh, four years before I started the restaurant. And it's the best thing happening in my life. And it's generating a lot of buzz for those of you visiting Naples, Florida. And our mission in, in, in having him here is to have another 21 Spices, which is the restaurant in Naples. Go to it, people are lining up at the doors, they're coming from out of state, they're coming from Vegas and heading to Florida. So we need a 21 Spices here in Napa. I would be your first customer and you would be obnoxious, you would be, you know, I would be obnoxious. So <laughs> I would be there all the time. <laughs> hey, you never know. So, you know, this is uh, one of my favorite place now. So yeah, you know, love, let me let me work it out and see how it cool. goes. I, I especially love the way the names rhyme. Naples, Napa. Naples, Napa. <laughs> That's right. We could, we could do a double duo. Yeah. What are you going to do? Come on. So do uh, like you said, we will make a, a tandoori chicken, uh, which is a very uh, popular um, Indian barbecue uh, um, uh, recipe. And I have simplified this recipe, and uh, believe me, this is one of the best recipe and one of the most popular dish at 21 Spices. And like you already said, this recipe beat one of the Iron Chef. We love you, Bobby. We're not to, like, <laughs> just hammer it in, but you know, you did win. So yeah, so you know, it's 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 a. I have simplified this recipe to make it people friendly, and uh, it's a great recipe, and people can try this at home. And uh, there are not too many ingredients, and uh, it's very simple, and uh, very, very delicious. Simple, awesome. uh, very delicious. I will. Like, like yeah, 20, I know. <laughs> you don't have 21 <laughs> spices, so. So yeah, you know, um, uh, this recipe uh, you can um, utilize different um, different uh, variations to it, uh, especially with uh, today. I'm going to use a boneless chicken thigh, okay. but uh, you can use anything you want. It's it's all all about you know the spices right. the the marination. So you can supplement even you can, if it's a tandoori chicken. Yeah, you can supplement, you can supplement with protein. seafood. You can supplement with any kind of uh, protein. Or if if you don't if you are a vegetarian, you can um, you can use vegetable uh, to marinate oh, the vegetable. Okay. And if you're vegan, and you sh you can uh, just substitute the the sour sour cream, which I'm going to use it with the uh, coconut cream. Oh, there you go. And you can you, even vegans can make it yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's all about the flavor. It's all it's about all the spices and the flavor and taking whatever side nutrient or protein and combining that together. Yes. Or vegetable, as you said. Yeah. You know, it's it's all about the technique, how I'll marinate and how uh, how, how long I leave it. That That is what is important. And a lot of time what happens is the difference between uh, professional uh, restaurants which cook and uh, you cook at home. Uh, the difference is that uh, uh, you always end up saying that uh, how come your food is better than uh, right. better than mine? The only reason is because at home you get scared to season it. You season it properly. That is the key. Much, right. Yeah, season it nicely. Don't get scared. You know, right. season it, and you know it's always uh, you know food is not seasoned properly. That is the reason that flavors don't come. And so at your restaurant, it, 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 how do you scale? Indian, how do you, what is your style of Indian cuisine? Because there is so much Indian cuisine out there. Are you very 
culturized of, of Indian technical cuisine, or do you have your own influence of what you've created off of Indian cuisine? So this is this is a, this is an amazing story. You know, um, I was born in the southern part of India from a city where we grew up eating Indian food, and we are so much involved in food, I can't tell you. Every discussion has to have food in it, you know? And uh, uh, so uh, with, with my interest in arts and sports, you know, that, that competitiveness, uh, this, this, uh, my parents saw that and love for food. Uh, they said, you know what, uh, why don't you go and uh, to study to be a chef? And I pursued my dream to have my degree in culinary arts. And then at very young age, I left India to be in a Greek island of Cyprus. How old? Uh, I was just 20 years old. Wow. So I spent like two valuable years there learning the Greek and Mediterranean cuisine. And then um, I happened to come to, you know, to to Marco Island in, uh, in, in Florida to do my um, to do my culinary internship. That's where I ended up, and I think that was the best thing happened. So now what happened is, with my dreams, with my knowledge about Indian food, without any experience, right. because don't don't forget, I never worked in India, but with the dreams and with that with the knowledge the of culture, watching yeah. my grandmother, mother, you know, and parents cooking all the time. And of course, I learned some stuff in the college, but not hands down, you know, but uh, the real <laughs> journey started here in America, learning. So what I did is I took those techniques and the spices and everything uh, what I've learned uh, uh, in, in India, incorporated those things here with the freshest local ingredients, which I have learned in this country, because what happens is food is something, uh, is, uh, something unique. Every area is different. Mm -hmm. You know, if I am here, uh, I should use the local produce here. Right. That tastes very good. Then getting it from somewhere else, that is what I have learned, you know. And uh, I really uh, enjoy uh, cooking Indian food in that, uh, that way. So that, that makes me unique with that American expertise, uh, you know, knowledge about cooking and there's some techniques in incorporating Indian spices. But I have kept the Indian recipes the way it is traditional, okay. but presented in a more fresh and modern fashion. So that way, uh, here we get to eat the real food, but in a very modern, contemporary right. fashion, and enjoy the local uh, stuff. Well, and and part of that also is our this show, Cooking Culture, is all about you know food creates a common bond. We can be on two opposite sides of the world, and food brings us together. It unites us. You know, I mean, we all center in our kitchens and hang out around food and it's a family gathering. And so I think that you know, as, as much as we all love diversity and, and food and culture, we can all bring that together with, with food. That's like the central ingredient, yep. right? That, that brings everybody together. Universal thing, which can bring people all, yeah. all around together. All right, so well, let's, you, let, yeah, ready? I'm, re I'm ready. All and right, you know, I, you, I can be your sous chef, however you want. Yeah. Um, or I'll just stand here and watch you. And yeah, you, you can watch it, too. you can learn the technique and uh, and you can uh, also help me. Okay. You know, so uh, let's let's uh, marinate uh, okay. the tandoori chicken. Do I do I need gloves or do you want? Or? You know, uh, why don't you why don't you wear gloves? Okay. Yeah. So let's let let me. Uh, do you wear gloves at home? I always wear gloves. Really? So the thing is, uh, there's something unique about Indian food is that uh, Indian food. Um, you know, it's spice, it's, I was, yeah, it's yeah, love, okay. right, yeah. affection. So anything I marinate, I always have different sets of gloves. I always wear gloves and cook with, you know, marinate with gloves. I feel like if you mix with spoon, the love is not there. The, 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 the food has to right. have some connection with love, affection. It has to come from here. And it only comes when human human right. interaction is there. Got it. But that doesn't mean, you know, um, you, 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 you don't need to use your direct hand, but definitely right. we have wear gloves. So I'll, why don't you marinate? Okay, huh? okay. Why yeah. don't you marinate and um, I will uh, put Here, the I'm spices. I'm going to shift you this way so everybody can see you. Otherwise oh. we'll, lose, yeah, you. we'll yeah, yeah. lose you on the camera. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, and, and you're using thigh because there's a lot it, there's a lot more flavor and fat to that versus you could use a chicken breast, but it's... See, the thing is uh, you, you can also use chicken breast but I'm using boneless chicken thigh because it has fat in it and right. also it stays moist. Mm -hmm. But also I'm going to show you the technique what is behind to keep the keep any kind of uh, meat or poultry uh, nice and moist. Okay. But but if someone wants to use chicken breast, they're more than welcome. They can. Somebody's on a you know low yeah, fat diet they, they or something. Can, they okay. can absolutely use chicken breast. So first thing let's do let's make marinade. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sour cream. Okay. 
So this is my recipe. Uh, sour creams works very well. I didn't eat anything today in, <sighs> on purpose to eat this, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm salivating with you just putting sour cream. In the bowl. Yeah. So I have here ginger, ginger? and garlic okay. plus. Okay. So like 50 50? Yeah, 50 50. Okay. You can also uh, make a paste out of it. You can, um, in a small food processor, you can, you can take equal quantity of ginger, mm -hmm. equal quantity of garlic. The ginger has to be peeled. You don't want fibers. Right. Then you make a paste out of it, and then um, then make make a paste and use uh, you know a little bit of it because it's a very important part of Indian cuisine. And this is a this is a simple uh, Madras curry powder, okay, uh, which has uh, turmeric, um, coriander, um, and cumin powder in it. So it it helps. Uh, like you don't have to have so many ingredients. It's combined together. It become one spice. Are there different types of curry powders? There are different kinds of uh, curry powder because uh, the definition of curry is uh, that combination of different spices. There can be hundreds, hundreds of curries okay. because every in India, India is a vast country. Uh, every region uh, is different. Uh, like we say, it's like wine. Yeah, it's, it's like, like Bordeaux versus yeah. Chablis or yeah. Okay. yeah. Like we say that uh, every hundred miles. The language change, the food change, and the God changes. Mm. So that is how India is. So it's Got amazing. It. So now we had a sour cream, we had ginger garlic right. paste, and we added a little bit of curry powder. Okay. And let me add some chopped mint. Mm. You know, I we use a lot of mint, uh, and I see this is local mint from here, from Napa. So I chopped some fresh mint, and let's chop some fresh cilantro. Okay. Uh, and would you say that a lot of these ingredients here are kind of the the initial point of curry? Dishes? Yes, yes. Okay. Initial point of curry, and this is very simple, uh, basic spices which are available anywhere you want, you 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 are. Uh, it's not that you have to particularly go to Indian grocery nowadays. You find these spices everywhere. So I'm going to chop a little bit of cilantro, which is a very important part of Indian cooking and this marination. So. And for those of you just tuning in uh, that were late to the beginning, this is Chef Asif. He's visiting us from Naples, Florida. He has an incredible restaurant that is highly sought after called 21 Spices, and we are trying to pull him into Napa here, and we are honored for him to be visiting us for Cooking Culture. It was all about food, you know, bringing people together of all different parts of the wor world and learning about the different cultures and diversity of these cuisines. So um, now uh, I added a little bit of chopped cilantro, okay. and I'm going to add it add a special spice called garam masala. Garam masala. Yeah, it's a very, uh, very uh, popular spice back in India, and it's used in a lot of different kinds of curries. But you can get it here, in the you States. Can, you can get okay. it just in the States. And if you if you can't get it, you can make it, actually. It's a oh. simple recipe. Uh, it, it has a I want to actually just like kind of try yeah, some of these. Yeah, you can try it. It's just very flavorful, and you'll be surprised oh, that... Oh, uh, like nutmeg? Yeah. Is there nutmeg in yeah, there too? Yeah, it has, it has, it has a touch of uh, cardamom, Ooh, cinnamon, wow, that's bay yummy. leaf. You know, it's a com combination of three, four different spices mm. grinded together. That is the garam masala. Wow, that's So you will be surprised that uh, our pastry chef, uh, Michelle. I was going to say, I could see some <laughs> some yummy desserts out yes, of that. Yes, he, he made a, a chocolate uh, garam masala cake, mm. which turned out to be a very good, very popular. So I'll add a little bit of garam masala to this marinade. And now let's add a little bit of... Uh, little bit of heat and a little bit of color. So here I have a Kashmiri chili, which is very bright. It's very similar to paprika. It has nice color to it. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then add, some people like uh, spiciness. If you like the hotness, you can add some little touch of cayenne. I like, I really do like spicy food, but don't kill me. Do something no, like, I, your I, spicy is yeah, probably yeah. a version of like, you're a wiener. So yeah, now, no, don't kill yeah, no, I won't kill you, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I always, uh, like I said to a lot of people, uh, Indian food, it's flavors also. Don't forget there mm -hmm. are so many flavors to the spices, not just the, the, the hotness to it. The hotness comes when you add the Thai green chilies, Got when it. you add, add the cayenne pepper. That is what creates the, the food hot. But if you can reduce it, then you are all set. Like I have people coming, uh, who senior citizens coming, you know, they want to enjoy the vindaloo, which, which oh, I love vindaloo. Yeah, Ooh. which happens to be a very hot dish, but in my restaurant you can have it a uh, mild, mild version of okay. it. Okay. That way you enjoy the other other flavors of the spices. Uh, you know, not right. Not being well, and too sometimes hot. I feel like it's too spicy. It's it's like getting a beautiful 
fish at a you know sushi restaurant and then just like dipping it in soy sauce or wasabi and then just like killing it, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to uh, add a little bit of kosher salt to this marinade. And now, Katie, I want you to mix it, please. Okay. Mix with your hand, rub it. Okay. I'm going to also and Would add you not suggest people do this in, in a, uh, a blender or something? No. Okay, so just I want you to do it exactly okay. the way it's doing. Uh, and I will add a little bit more sour oh, cream. I want to good. create a nice... Uh, so you're making you're making a marinade, but it's almost like a paste. Yeah. Because it's a, the, the... It's a paste, it's a marinade, and uh, it really, uh, it's so good that uh, you can utilize it pretty much for any kind of barbecue. If you have open flame, uh, grill, or uh, anything, you can use it. Now, I, just to give a traditional touch to it... Yeah, I have a question about this. Go ahead, I, and I, ask me. I, why, why do you... I, okay, I get it. I get the tandoori chicken has a red color to it, but yes. why? What's the importance See, of that? See, the importance to that is, uh, you know, um, back in India, we have uh, many uh, peppers, and uh, which releases a lot of color to it. Mm -hmm. and Traditionally, it is it is in red, so you know oh. if you if you eat tandoori chicken which is yellow in color, then people might not recognize it. But tandoori color is red. Right. You know it it has to have red color. But if you don't want, you can take it out. You don't have to put it. But I will put it. Why not? You know. Right. Why not give a traditional touch to it? Just don't put your blue food coloring. Yeah. From, don't put that. From the pack. Yeah. Just just mix it. Okay. Yeah. And you know, if, if for those of us that wanted to make this at home, and, and hopefully you you can divulge part of the recipe, um, could, if you just had all of these ingredients out, could you just play with it and 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 put the quantities that you felt, or are you pretty reliant on? Oh, it should be a tablespoon of that, and it should be a teaspoon of this. And so, uh, I would suggest you follow what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, like I said, like teachers I know, told I me know, that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it goes with my, because I know your palate very well. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, you can follow, but only one thing I'll advise you, when it comes to the hotness, when I, when I right. touch the cayenne, just be careful there. Right. Just reduce it. If Got, you it. Can handle Got it. it. Reduce that. But rest everything, follow what I'm right. saying. Because, because this is, don't forget, this recipe beat Bobby Flynn. Right, I know, yes. <laughs> he'll, he'll say that till the day he dies, and, and he should. He should. So let okay. me add a little bit more oil to it. Okay. It's a marinade, so. And we're using grapeseed oil, who's a fabulous partner of ours. Um, yep. I love using them because yeah, it's, it has wow, a such amazing. higher heat yep. component to it than, yep. a, than an olive oil, but you could use an olive oil? Yes. No, um, you can use a grape grapeseed oil, or you can use a vegetable oil. Okay, I so prefer. but not all because no, no olive oil is super heavy yeah, and no, dense. I will not okay. use olive oil. It Got doesn't it. go well with this. Got it. So now listen I, to what he is saying, people. <laughs> he will, he will get you. So now I see okay. the marinade is getting so good, and you know. Can you over kind of can you overbeat this like whipping an egg or is this? No, 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 no. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. Am I done? Yes. You're, or no, do you? Oh, okay. not yet. Not yet. You know. I could make so many yeah, jokes yeah. right now. So I'm now I'm going to add a boneless chicken thigh to it, and I want you to marinate this. Nicely mix okay. it, three pieces of it. Uh, like we, like we. I've never seen a marinade this thick before. Yeah. I mean, it's it's awesome. I love it. Mix it nicely. Okay. And now, very good question. You know, a lot of people ask me that how long can we marinate? Oh, or, okay. Yeah. Or how long it will stay? You know, that kind of question. So, typically with this, you can do overnight. Okay. And that is the best way, actually. If you ask me. You can marinate like this, cover it with plastic, mm -hmm. leave it in your fridge for 12 hours, and believe me, that magic will be there. You'll right. enjoy the flavors, you'll enjoy the aroma, everything, because it goes deep inside the chicken, the marinade, is, the spices, everything sits and releases all the flavors. Well, I'm certain everything. at the restaurant, right before somebody orders this, you're not like, okay, go marinate the chicken. <laughs> I mean, you're pulling it from, right? I'm pulling I mean, this it is, because so this goes day before we all, already start yeah. marinating. That is how our flavors are good. But typically, uh, it's pretty too. in restaurant, we use a tandoor oven. I'm scooting you this way, because my okay. camera guy is going to scream right. at me since okay. you're not in the frame. So typically, uh, we grill this in a tandoor oven. But uh, today we will use a, you know, a heavy metal uh, pan where we can we can grill our chicken here. Um, that way uh, we we can show our uh, guests and other people can learn to cook it basically very at simple home. at right. home without worrying about a big clay oven. Right. So that's the that the tandoori term technically comes from the clay. Exactly. Correct? Okay. That is how it comes right. out. So it's it's a kind of Indian barbecue. 
Got you know, it. it's an Indian barbecue. So tandoor itself is a clay oven, which is Indian barbecue. By the way, we have two big tandoor at 21 Got Spices. Uh, we also use that tandoor for naan bread. If right. You, yeah. And I have to do, I have to say this, and you ha I don't think you've seen this video, but when we went to Jacques Pepin's home back east and he cooked in his oven, he did this with his son-in-law, Raleigh and Claudine. We did this incredible, t their version of tandoori naan, mm. or, you know, naan bread, whatever, in their oven, but it wasn't, it wasn't your typical, yeah. you know, clay oven, mm -hmm. but it was so delicious. And they grilled it right on the spot and basted it with actually a brush of rosemary. Yes, and, yes. Oh, ah. I mean, it was like, it wasn't your authentic, but it was their authentic, and it okay. was pretty remarkable. All right, so what we'll do is now, uh, let's take this, uh, let's turn this uh, burner on and make it hot. And, uh, and so if you're doing it, you could do any type of pan, really. Yeah. I mean, do you want non I, I, This isn't non stick, obviously. This is non stick, a, a and also this is cask iron. Right. I, I, I rather prefer cask iron because okay. I want to have the char, okay. you know. Um, this is very important. If if you get that, what happens is uh, basically any kind of meat or protein, you're sealing the juices. Got it. That is a key. Right. Because a lot of time, what happens is a lot of people come to you and ask, uh, you know, we, we grill our chicken breast, it get very dried up. Right. How come you grilled it and or you put on the salad, so juicy, you know? The reason is because you, you didn't you didn't do it, the technique was right. wrong. Or you take the meat off and then yeah. you just chop right so into learn, it and don't let it. This is a very good uh, chance for uh, viewers and everyone to learn okay. the technique now. So watch the technique because, again, don't forget, you know, Bobby lost in grilling, so. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, ooh, that's getting hot. So now it's getting hot, so I'll reduce a little bit heat. I don't want. So I'll use, again, this uh, grapeseed oil, which is fantastic because this is. Uh, higher heat component. Yeah, higher heat than, component. Right. And also, not a lot. We're not frying. We're just searing. Okay. So let's, let me wear my one, another gloves. Yeah, so now what I'll do is I'll just make sure it coats properly, the oil. Okay, beautiful. So now let's grill this chicken. You know, look at the sizzling. Because this is very important. When, when the chicken sizzles, that means your pan is ready. Okay, yep. If it doesn't sizzle, then you're doing some mistake. Right, <laughs> some mistake. <laughs> or you're not listening to Chef Asif. Yeah, you, you, you listen to me, you'll yeah, be good. Yeah, you listen to me, yeah. So oh. you see the house sizzling. Yeah. Now we need to also have patience. We have to we have to be patient. Right. To get that nice charred mark. So let's wait for a few. Uh, and so a, a typical dish, you would serve this with rice. So typical dish, uh, we, which uh, we serve this is actually a salad. Oh. Okay. Okay. Or a nice dipping sauce, mm. and then with a naan. Okay. Because this is tandoori, yeah. so typically it goes with naan. But also, you have various type of chutneys which you can eat it, um, you know, and then that is that is how it's eaten. It's mostly with chutneys, you know, it's a coriander chutney or mint chutney with a nice cool right. yogurt sauce because this is chicken is a little bit hard, so you want to cool it down right. with some kind of uh, uh, raita, we call it. It's a wow. yogurt sauce. So what what um, we will do later, uh, next is, I will will show how to make a nice raita, which is a yogurt sauce. Oh yes, which is very close to what tatsiki or something, right. you know. Okay. So uh, while we're letting that sear, I, I always ask a few questions of of my guests, and one Please. of them is, okay, it's your last day. You're you're deserted on an island, and you've been told that you're gonna die. Okay. <laughs> what is your last meal? Now let me preface that with Amazon is can fly in with a drone and deliver it to you. So whatever you want, what is your last request? So, my last request will be if it's coming with a drone. If not, you said I am on the island. Yes, what, then right. I, yeah, I'll, I'm not asking you to yeah. make fire. If, you, if yeah. you tell me to make fire and yeah, eat yeah. myself, I'll eat a fish. That's my favorite. Okay, okay. But if you tell me that you're going to send it by drone yeah. or my last meal, <laughs> so definitely it's going to be one of my signature and one of my most popular um, uh, dish um, that is a biryani, you know? Biryani. Biryani. Okay. It's a rice casserole. Mm. So I will have a nice mutton biryani, that's a goat biryani, Ooh. which is very delicious and very popular at 21 Spices, okay. like in Naples. Yeah. And the history behind the dish is, uh, it happens to originate from the city where I come from, it's called Hyderabad in India. Wow. So I will have that that's biryani, nice biryani okay. before I fly. Nice, before I fly. <laughs> 
Oh, and the second question, what would your superpower be if you could have one? Superpower? Mm -hmm. Ah, that's a good question. I never thought about it. Uh, I got the most random one. You know, there's the typical, the invisible, or read people's minds. Blah, blah, blah. One gentleman said, he, and he had this amazing hat on. He was a musician, and he said, I wish I could just go like that, and my hat would change. And he could just, like, be walking around and be like, bing, pew, you know, and a new hat. I'm like, that's a really interesting superpower. So he was a, he was, you know, you could go out of the box with this one. You don't have to have the standard. So if, if I have one superpower, um, definitely, uh, I, I, if I see anything, any misery or anything, I should I be able to that. fix it. I love that. That's the best, that is the best <laughs> answer I've had on this show yet. Yes. Yes. So because more, my heart more goes. gracefulness and gratitude yeah. and empathy and appreciation. Yeah. I, I, I love that because th this is close to me. So this is the one thing that we have yet to so be able to create to is the smell of vision. So, let's, let's, uh, so when you're starting to see them shrink up and yeah. achieve a little bit yeah. of that brown. Yeah. So now, now it's the right time now. Okay. Let's turn it. Mm. Look at that nice oh, char. Yeah. Hmm? Beautiful. This is what we need. Yeah. If it's not there, that means you're not ready. And also, uh, you, when you use chicken breast, this is not ready. Okay. When you use chicken breast, what you can do is, you can use chunks, a little bit thick chunks of chicken mm -hmm. breast. So that also helps. Got it. You can do it. Yeah. And and there would be no reason to like pound this chicken. You want to no, just okay. No, no. All right. You just you want to take the you, thigh, that's it. boneless you want, breast. Yeah. You don't want to pound it. You don't want to do anything. You know. Mm, smells so good. Ah, look at that! Beautiful. Yeah. Right. This is what we want. So we're doing a, a an amazing tandoori chicken. For those of you tuning in, we've got Chef Asif here visiting from Naples, Florida. His restaurant is Twenty One Spices, that garnered a lot of attention after he beat Bobby Flay and then was on Guy's Grocery Games and won that. And um, we're, again, I'll say it for the fourth time, we are trying to talk him into starting a restaurant here in Napa because it's, it's needed and wanted and we will, we will feast there if you do. So you have our, our attention. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love the people here. I it's was, fun, yeah, yeah, you know. It, it's, not, it's not the you know, crazy open late New York City vibe, but it's definitely a special, special place. Yep, it is. I, I was almost here for like three, three, four days now, and that was one of the things which really uh, touched to my heart. Yeah. The way the people are, they are so warm, so welcome. Well, because so they're all drunk, Asif. Doesn't they're matter. They're all drinking, you know, and they're all happy. Katie, don't they're forget. They're just like, oh, yeah, everything's yeah, great. Yeah, but, do, but don't forget, a person becomes <laughs> real when he's drunk. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, I'm online. Yeah, perfect, yeah? perfect timing. No, that's just my, uh, this, is, this is my meditation. When I, you know, when I cook, I love to have my wine and it's my... Yeah, let me have my medication too. Yeah, your medication? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what, um, do you guys live in Naples or where? So we live in family? Naples. I live with my wife. Okay. And two kids. How old are your kids? Um, our daughter is nine. Uh, she's going to turn 10 now next month. Oh, wow. And son will also turn next next month six years old. Ah! So we have... I have a five and a two-year-old, so I, I, I'm almost at that six-year... But you have a boy, so that's a different. I have a know, girl and a boy. A girl and a boy, yeah, right? Yeah. But the boy is the six-year-old, right? Boy is six-year-old. Okay. He's pretty, you know. I hear boys are are can be more challenging. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, I want to say hi to my wife if she's watching me. Hi, hi Sam. Hi, hi, Sam. I love you. I love you too. I don't know you, but I love you too, and I hope you'll come to Napa. Please. And you know what? You're spoiled, wife. You're spoiled that he cooks this for you all the time. Or I hope he does. Maybe he just makes you ramen at home out of the box. I'm not certain. <laughs> what do you do? What do you cook at home when you know, you're not you, at the restaurant? What do you cook at I home? If I tell you, you'll be surprised. She's a very good chef. Is she? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. So she cooks, but also she's my biggest critic too. Yeah. Well. So you know, she keeps me grounded. So. Right. Well. So this is ready, uh, Katie. What okay. I'll do now is, I will cover this actually. Um, do you want some foil? Yeah, yeah. No, I will take oh. this lid actually. Okay. And I'll cover it, and I leave it on a very low flame Ooh. because <laughs> we have. Smoke got yeah, to me. yeah. Uh. We got we got our um, job. That yep. means we seared it very right. well, and I'm going to reduce the heat now. Let it let it sit like on a very low flame for at least 
I would say 15 minutes. Okay. Then so it's almost continuing to cook. Continue to cook right. on a very, very low flame because uh, we want to make sure the chicken is cooked inside out. But leave it on the heat or do you want to, or? Yeah, leave yeah. it on okay. a heat, very, very low heat, okay. which, is, which is very tiny okay. because it's already cooling down. So now, meantime, what we will do is let's prepare, um, let's prepare. You want more water or is that a let's cheers? Let's get a cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do now is, like I said, to serve a nice uh, dipping sauce with okay. the chicken, let's make a nice pineapple raita, which cool it down. Huh? Okay. So, ha! Huh, I see this beautiful pineapple oh, here. So pretty. And for for somebody that you know is on the move and wants to make this and can't take the time to cut up a pineapple in the precise manner that you can, could they go to the store and get crushed pineapple in a can or? They can. Okay. They can get a crushed pineapple. I know that we're supposed to follow your rules. I yeah, yeah. No, no, that. absolutely. They but if they can't follow this rule, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They can get a crushed pineapple okay. or they can get a diced pineapple if they want to. Uh, but I won't prefer, I, I prefer a lot of time nowadays, you know, in, in, in supermarkets or in nice uh, farm to table grocery stores. You, you see fresh pineapple already peeled. Right. I'd rather prefer that than going into a can. Sure, I, okay. I don't no, like can. understood. And, yeah. and, and Whole Foods is a partner of ours, so you can go on the shelf and you can see, you know, the, the sliced <coughs> pineapple that's yeah. still fresh. Right. So now what, what we'll do is we will peel the pineapple, of course. That is a really beautiful looking pineapple. Yeah, beautiful. It's nice. You know, I can even smell it. So. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't throw that out. I'm gonna keep, I'll keep that in here, the kitchen. I'll, I'll make this pretty somehow. Okay. Let's leave it right here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so now um, I'm going to peel the pineapple and then... You are a glove man. Typically, are... typically, <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, I, am, like, I, am. I don't think I've ever seen a chef put on as many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to get you a latex glove sponsor. That is my mission. <laughs> so you don't have to keep buying all these yeah. gloves. <laughs> so another thing is, like, I had to wear my hat. Today I'm not wearing my hat ah, and my torque. That's your superpower. Yeah, yeah superpower. Like... That is, you know. Yeah. But anyway, so what I do is when I'm in the restaurant or uh, at home, I typically grill this on a char Ooh, grill. Yummy. So I want to get that marking and then the grill flavor to the pineapple. Then I dice it and I put it in a, in a yogurt, which yogurt spice sauce, I'll show you. But right now... Is this an authentic, or is this an authentic um, dipping sauce or is this your take? So this is, this is an authentic, but it has little take on my side too, okay. where I'm grilling it, I don't see back home they grill it, but I like grill, you know, I like I like the smoky flavor. So I grill it typically, uh, but I, I didn't see that grilling uh, done back home. Mm -hmm. I typically see they use a straight uh, pineapple um, <coughs> and dice it. So right now we'll do that, but uh, what I do is I, I grill this pineapple. I'm gonna steal that. I grill this pineapple, let's taste it. Mm. Yummy. That is one fruit that I don't buy enough. I really don't buy enough of it, and I love it. Like, my kids love fruit. I don't think about it enough. It's so good. Yep, it is, it is. It is very sweet and very, um, you know, perfectly ripe. So typically on a char grill, mm -hmm. I grill it, get grill mark. That way you got nice smoky flavor. But here what we're going to do is we're just going to dice it very thin, tiny, you know, brunoise. for our dipping sauce. Okay. So typically, uh, there are different, different kinds of raitas. It's raita is a dipping, uh, yogurt dipping sauce. So, so raita is, is a term for a dipping sauce exactly. in Indian cuisine. Exactly, yes. Okay. So, uh, as, which is made with yogurt. Got Always. It. So the, the base is the yogurt. The base is the yogurt. Always is yogurt. So don't forget that. Uh, don't get confused with chutneys because this right. is not a chutney. This is a this is a raita, and raita always have the yogurt base, and we always eat raita. Now raita can vary. If you want to use avocado, you can use it. Okay. If you want to use anything else, you can do. You can use apple. You can do whatever you want. But you know, it's, it's but follow the some spices okay. which I'm going to put in it. So let's 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 cut all of this actually. So the term your restaurant, Twenty One Spices. Mm -hmm. Are there Twenty One Spices in the Indian cuisine, or what's the meaning? What is the Twenty One Spice? Meaning behind so, your restaurant. So the the name, um, of course, I do have twenty one spices. The reason is because twenty one is my favorite number. Oh, so okay, got it. First and foremost thing. But in India, you have many spices, hundreds of spices. But mine are twenty one favorite 
because I want to make my life easy. I don't want to remember <laughs> the hundreds so, of it. So you're focused on 21 spices within, I'm focused within on the literature? Yes. Of, yeah, okay. And also, um, you know, when I was uh, opening the restaurant, I wanted to give a name. And um, I was... I was like you would have screwed yourself doing yeah, two spices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah. would want. Would nobody would have wanted. Want it to and also, I was tired of the same old names. You know, right. I was just tired. I wanted to have some fresh name yeah. which attracts people. Love it. And it, now it's created. So like when he opens in Napa, it's going to be twenty-two spices. That's the plan. <laughs> and then you'll just open more from there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to chop this up. And and could this keep in in the fridge? Like, if I wanted to keep this for a meal later in the week. Or is this something that you should consume pretty quickly? You can keep in the fridge, and okay. you can use it for three days, actually. And still, it'll, it'll be fresh. Oh, he's going to kill you. You just okay, moved I know, the I know, board I know, from the frame. I know. We'll move it back, Chris. We'll move it back. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <again. laughs> just kidding. So anyway, this is the yogurt. So I'm adding this pineapple, diced pineapple. I mean, so... Sorry, a, Chris. A, 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 <laughs> this, is, this is why I, okay, you, you can tell the, the major difference between us being like a, a family network and having fun in the kitchen like you are, are cooking at home to, you know, a very syndicated, specific, oh, you need to do this, and I'm not calling out anybody. But, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want here and have fun at the same time. Well, you know, it's, it, it's, it's all ad lib and let's have fun and play. Yeah, so, so I added, um, this is a plain Greek yogurt. Okay. Now, you can use any kind of yogurt. If you want to use uh, low-fat yogurt, you're welcome. Okay. But I would say plain is the better. Because why? You don't want to uh, confuse the pineapple with different flavor. Okay. It has to have right. pineapple flavor in and it. And no Greek yogurt with honey or anything. You just want plain Greek yogurt. No, no. We are going to add some honey. Oh, it has okay. to have a little bit touch of sweetness it. to it. So what we'll do is uh, let's add a little bit of salt first thing. And you're a, a fan of the kosher, like you're not... I am a fan of okay. kosher. So every chef is a fan of yeah, something. Yeah. So I'm a fan of, okay. especially with salt. So the kosher is my kind Got of it. salt. And then I will add a little bit of cumin um, powder. Cumin is very, uh, very important for this, uh, uh, this dipping. So it's very simple, plain yogurt, mm -hmm. whole milk yogurt. I used it okay. because I like it. And pineapple, which is not grilled, but typically it's grilled. If you want to grill, you can grill. If you want to use plain, you can use dice it. Very tiny, small, use it. And then what we'll do is we'll chop some cilantro. And we'll add some cilantro. Cilantro uh, give that freshness to the whole, uh, you know, uh, raita. So like you said, mint and cilantro are, are two herbs that tend to be seen a lot in the Indian Yes. Okay. Mint and cilantro is seen a lot. Ginger, garlic yep. is seen a lot. So these are very important things. You know, you, you, you need to follow it. Then only you get the flavor of Indian. So now I want to give a little bit of kick. I know you like... And what was the name of that chili again? Or the, it's like you said, it's similar to a papri paprika, but... Yeah, this is very similar to paprika. It's called Kashmiri chili. Kashmi Kashmiri? Yeah. Kashmir is the northern part of India. So you can use this, or you can use a little touch of cayenne also, whatever okay. you want. Okay. But right now, I used only the, you know, the Kashmiri. And then, um, let's use a little bit of lemon, lemon. juice. Okay. Because this pineapple is very sweet. A little if, acid. Yeah, a little, little acid, but if the pineapple was not that sweet, I will not use it, because Got the it. pineapple was already citrus. Right. I use that, and then now, just give a little touch of sweetness also. Meantime, I want you to mix this, okay. uh, Katie, if you can do Are it. We, uh, can I just steal this? Yeah, yeah steal it. Okay. Let me add a little bit of honey. This is the honey. Yeah, keep mixing it. Mm, wow, you're doing a good job. Oh, you know, this now is Now I know if I get busy, who to call. I know I get to eat after. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so if you, if you weren't um, in, um, doing Indian cuisine, is there a second favorite? Like, if, like what type of, of dishes, you know, authentic meals that do you like outside of, of the Indian cuisine? So outside of India, you know, if, if I have any other favorite cuisine or I'll be cooking, that mm -hmm. would have been Lebanese cuisine. Mm. Oh, yes. So that Good Lebanese answer. is my uh, second favorite. Yeah. And the third one is, of course, modern American. You yeah. Know, I love it. Oh, it looks good. Mm. You're doing a good job. Hey, yummy. Yeah. So you want to try some? I, I would love to yeah, try let's, some. Yeah, let's, let me give you a spoon. Here, no, I'm going to 
Yeah. You have a spoon? This guy right here. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. What do oh, you think? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I mean, just the pineapple and the crunch and crispness, but the mild. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Yum. Oh, so yeah. now what we will do is this chicken have a last thing to do, and I'm very positive the chicken is cooked. Look at this beautiful. Oh, wow. Huh? It's, and it's, it's all, still smoking. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is still have that steam. But you know what? Just to be safe side, mm -hmm. always it's better to cut the thick part and see if right. the chicken is okay. cooked. Yep. Yeah, that way what happens is we even... Don't want we, no. don't, we don't want that. We don't want that. So just can you hold yeah, this yeah, for me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Beautiful. Mm. It's nice and juicy. You see how the chicken oh, is? Oh gosh, yeah. It's done. Oh man. So you don't want to overcook also, and let's let's cover it a little bit. Okay. Let's cover it, and then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create some smoke. This okay. is a special technique, which uh, if you do it, what happens is um, um, it create it gives that charcoaly, smoky barbecue flavor to the chicken. And people won't even know where you grilled this. Right. Right? That's the thing. We, we, we have this list of ingredients. And our culinary director, Raina, is like, OK, this, we need this, this, uh, this. She goes and gets everything. And then we need a bag of charcoal. Or we need a couple charcoal bricks. I'm like, what is he going to do with this charcoal brick? So I'm, I'm fascinated to see what you are about to do yes. with this. Because this is cool, because this is something that somebody could do at home. Yes, they can do it at home, and they can do it for anything. Right. So don't worry about just the you like see, see, you could be totally secretive, be like, I barbecued all day, barbecue and then all just, day, throw, yeah. oh. just just throw some smoke in it. Then you know oh, what? You created the magic. Okay. So also, what you can do is uh, you can use, utilize this smoking technique even for if you're if you're grilling a steak right oh, in a pan. I love it. Use that technique. That's Why not? That's really cool. Doesn't matter, you know. So let's let's do that. And uh, you did this on the show with Bobby. I did that yeah, on the show last so this minute. This is like a little that, trick out uh, of the pocket. Yeah, okay. that was the last thing, and they were surprised at how I did because uh, don't forget I didn't have a tandoor. Right. If I have a tandoor, I don't have to worry about this technique because tandoor right. itself yeah. have charcoal right. in it, and the flavors are so amazing because of the clay oven. But here we have to create that magic. So now, um, only thing I need for this is uh, just a little bit of ghee. And tell, tell people watching what ghee is, because a lot of people get confused by ghee versus butter versus clarified. Yeah. So ghee, ghee is Indian clarified butter, typically made with, um, like back in place where I am from, made with buffalo milk. Got yeah? it. Buffalo okay. milk. When I say buffalo, don't get scared. The water <laughs> buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> water buffaloes. They're not running. Yeah, like not the, running. The up. Cows are. Yeah. <laughs> so water buffaloes. But <laughs> but rest of the India is it's with cow milk. Uh, but the closest is unsalted um, unsalted clarified butter, okay, which gotcha. we can we can clarify ourselves too. Just melt the butter and separate it with a uh, you know uh, impurities or water you know right. content. So then it becomes clarified. So sometimes I do use our butter too. Okay. When when I don't have the the char. Um, the ghee. Okay. So now it. what we'll do is now let's let's uh, let me show you how I do it. I have uh, this. You see this uh, beautiful charcoal charcoal brick. Here. Yeah. They charcoal. See. I have just a, like a yeah. Just a brick. Yeah. It's yeah, just <laughs> a brick, or you can take a charcoal or anything, and then burn it on a burner, which which I, which I'm doing by the way in the back, and um, just. Um, Bring it here and... Yeah, for, for those of you ladies wanting to impress your Look men and, and you're, you're like, oh, I've been, I've been grilling all day, babe. And then you can just throw it in the pot and then... <laughs> <laughs> this is a good trick. <laughs> so you see this is, is wow, fiery I mean, charcoal, you know, burning. That's nuts, So yeah. now what we'll do is, just can you hold this for me, please? Mm -hmm, of course. So now this is a very important part. You can see now I'm putting this ah, remican, remican inside. Hold on. Just, oh. So what I'll do now is I will create a little bit more smoke with this wow. ghee. And it oh, has yeah. to be a little bit fast. And right. then what I will do is let the ghee melt okay. on it. The smoke huh. will be created. Add a little bit of garam masala to it. So cool. And can you please close yes. it? Yes. Oh, my God. I love that. I'm, I'm like, going to do this with, like, French toast in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> that is so genius. Yep. And so typically, though, we this this cast iron has sides that are coming out are you that's cool yeah it's okay I you mean, know but you can cover it yeah, covering is it. more better but i don't have problem oh because gosh. most of it is covered you oh, can see wow, this flavor that is remarkable so i will leave it for like uh, one minute 
or minute and a half. That's all you need. And now we are all set. We can play it if you're. Well, how I mean, so you're just you're gonna. It's gonna be pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be pretty Got quick. Because then it would you take over. It would take over the chicken. Yeah, right? you will okay. take over the chicken. You just want a little. That is the cool. Oh my gosh, that is the coolest thing. So now it's that's. Was this like that? What you like impressed your wife the first like night? You're like I, you know. This is your dish that you yeah. cook. <laughs> she didn't eat my food before I impressed her, you know. It's, it's just my charm oh, that impressed man, her. Oh, man, okay, well, I don't doubt that. Look at that. That is the so, smoke, I mean, we didn't have a camera on this. I mean, that looks that looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Authentic tandoori chicken with this, like, masterful technique of barbecue in the dish. So let's, let's, okay. uh, let's plate it. I want you to help. Um, let's see. So cool. Oh, my gosh. It, it smells horrible. <laughs> Okay, we've got a dish here. Wonderful, beautiful. So now, all right, I want you to help me put this chicken in okay. the center. Now you see you're becoming an expert now. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I'm, I, yeah, I, yeah. I do Let's make a, a, my own version of curry on occasion, but it's, it would not. Now you become you. a tandoori chicken <laughs> expert now. You can leave it this side like this. So now what we'll do is, let's Ooh, I'm gonna steal this. try it and see. Huh. I mean. Yeah. So, so cool. you see, yeah. um, you can you can use this uh, oh. raita. Actually, typically it goes on the side of the plate, you know. Hmm. And it'll just kind of like cool and you temper cool it that. down the yeah. temper of the chicken. And then I also um, use a plain um, coriander chutney, which I prepared before. Coriander chutney? Yeah. Huh. Coriander is a fresh um, cilantro and uh, coriander seeds powder oh. mixed with... Um, May I? Yeah, yeah, please try it. Sorry, that probably just made you mad with no gloves on. I just, <laughs> just put my finger in your <laughs> chutney bowl. Right. There you go. Oh, wow. Bingo. And just garnish it. If you want to have a little bit more lemon, you can have a little bit more lemon, or you can have. And so this would be served with a type of non. But this, this, yeah. this, this would, can be served with. But but at the restaurant at Twenty One Spices, this is a salad. So yeah. At Twenty One Spices, this has smoked bell peppers on top of Ooh. it. Okay, and that's it. Like you can okay. have a side of naan if you want. You Got can it. have a side of rice if you want, but. Uh, like this you can, you can, yeah, you can prepare this. And personally, if I have to eat, I will eat on a salad. Got it. A okay. fresh salad. That's that will work for me. Like for, for okay. So for those of you listening, what type of like romaine or it butter lettuce or what type of it lettuce? It depends on the day. I can okay. take anything. Okay. All right. But okay, any type of lettuce that any, any is type of clean lettuce. and fresh yeah. with but, the chicken. But uh, I I had a. Uh, a very good salad yesterday. I would love to have that again to yeah. do it when I go back now. With I had a bib salad yesterday. Oh, yummy! Bib lettuce, very good. So fantastic. Well, Here thank you, you. This is, I mean, this is like so awesome. I'm definitely gonna play with this at home or even here in the kitchen. I mean, I have a live show every Tuesday, so the, this is gonna be a fun one. Thank you for this. I hope. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have to really just get you here to Napa because we need you here. We really need some killer Indian cuisine. So thank you to you. Please go to Naples, Florida and visit 21 Spices and come to the studio by Feast It Forward. We are all about food, wine, and philanthropy with a taste of music spiked with design. Come visit us. Raise your glass awareness and funds for a you know, multitude of charities and have fun with chefs and musicians and a-listers alike, and we all put on our pants the same way. That's what we say here. We're all fun and family, and so thank you for being here. Thank so. you for inviting Yay. me. All right. And make this at home. You'll check it out. And Bobby Flay, sorry you lost. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That looks so good.